Hello there, people. It's a lovely Sunday. Um, if this shot looks a little weird because it's actually looking like I'm on a balcony, I kind of am because like this is what it looks like. It's just a small little balcony. I got my feet on top of my air conditioner kind of thing. It's like I'm sitting on the windowsill. Um, and it's just a good way to sort of relax and get outside without having to go down a flight of stairs because I live on the second floor. So yeah, it's not the most safe thing to do, but it's relaxing. And I have, my bed is directly behind me, below me, so if anything does happen, I can just fall backwards and I'll be fine. But I just wanted to do this sort of like little update video. It's it's just a gorgeous day. Well, I say gorgeous to myself. It's not currently raining, it's not hot, and the sun is not beating down on me, causing me to sweat profusely. So it's a good day. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, last week was golden week. Um, unfortunately, didn't get to do anything. Uh, anyone that I could have done stuff with either did not call me or had previous engagements. So things happen. That's all right. Life continues on. There's always next year. Um, last night slash yesterday was one of my uh, co-workers. When I say co-worker, I mean one of my Interact co-workers. His name is Brandon. Good fellow. You might have seen him once or twice in some of my other videos. Um, it was his birthday yesterday. Celebrated that by going to a place called baby faces planets or baby planet faces or something like that it i'll see if i can attach the little video to this one and make it just an extension of it for the birthday thing but it was such so, so weird so weird <laughs> i mean it's a good little place to go to it's actually got really good food and once again i made another terrible mistake ordering something that i thought was going to be small but it turns out it was freaking huge because it turns out we went to a family restaurant and when you order something, it's actually meant for a family, not for a single person. Neither of us knew that when we ordered. <laughs> so he got like the normal, regular single serving size, which was huge. And I got a small, which turned out to be enough to feed three people. <laughs> now I was fine eating it myself. It was rather delicious, but it was just too funny. It was too funny on how that happened. Um, but yeah, it was a very weird name for a very nice little family family restaurant to go to. Um, but that was pretty much my, my vacation time. I stayed in my apartment. I walked around a little bit. I've been trying to get things set up for my, my pocket Wi-Fi, which just still has not worked out. Um, I think it's going to work out when I finally, when they actually receive the SIM card this coming Saturday, the next Saturday, next weekend. Uh, at least that's what they tell me. Don't know how that's going to work out. But I'm going to wait and see. My final, hopefully, my final dentist appointment is going to be on the 19th. So that's about a week and a half away, I think. Something like that. And um, so that'll be the final one to put the cap on. And my, my, my all my dentist prob dentistry problems will be done at the moment for the while. Uh... I probably said those phrases backwards, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> but yes, that is how far that's progressed and how things are going there. So I have to go back into Osaka one final time on the 19th. Um, getting paid this coming Friday. Can see how much that paycheck is. And so hopefully I've actually done a full month's work of pay. So I'll actually hopefully get a full, full, full paycheck this time instead of another partial paycheck that I have been getting the past couple of months. Um, as far as I know, everything is in motion to get things finished off for any and all like health insurances and social insurances and things of that nature. I've filled out and send, sent out hopefully any and all final bits of information requiring for the 2015 tax year for Japan. I hope all that's done. I've, you know, don't know. Find out later. Uh, I mean, you know, just, there's just life has progressed. Things have moved on. You know, just sort of like normal, everyday kind of thing. Um, yeah, no, it's getting to the point where I actually, on my days off when I'm not working or if I'm going anywhere, I'm wearing shorts now more often because it's just, it's getting to that point where it's getting humid and it's getting nasty. And it's just like, Ugh. as anyone who lives in a humid climate knows, <laughs> it gets pretty bad. Especially since the fact that the people around here don't ever dump any of their water buckets out or turn anything over so that water doesn't collect. Water collects everywhere around here, you know, 
moss and mold and that type of nasty stuff is just everywhere. And um, the mosquitoes are in droves. Then they, they kind of look like, you can see the mosquitoes from a distance because they're twice the size of American mosquitoes. And they congregate like a gnat, like a bunch of gnats, like a gnat, a gnat orgy, which is what the, you know, all those gnats are doing. They're having sex in the air. Well, that's kind of what it looks like with the mosquitoes. So, like, you can just see, like, a hovering pile of mosquitoes in the distance. <laughs> At that point, you either turn around or go a different way. Um, but, yeah, mosquitoes are everywhere. The only plus side for the mosquitoes, if there is a plus side for mosquitoes, is that these are the East Asian indigenous mosquitoes, which means that apparently they do not cross-contaminate their, their meals, which means that they only drink blood from humans. They only eat human um, nourishment. They only uh, suck and attack humans. So they don't attack and suck off of dogs or cats or birds or anything else. So there's no possible cross-contamination of that kind. Like not, not, no one's gonna get like the bird flu or the cow flu or whatever. That, so that, that just doesn't happen apparently. So that I guess that's a plus. Um, but yes. I don't know. It's just, it just is not comfortable seeing that many mosquitoes. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's life here. And life here is good. It's, it's definitely good. Um, everything is within walking distance. You know, my view is not terrible. I see a lot more sky than I did at my last apartment. I mean, just like, I mean, this is my view. It's just pretty much nothing but open sky. And it's gorgeous to me. I, I always love seeing the open sky, clouds and the blueness or the blackness at nighttime, it's just gorgeous. And then of course, there's a couple of, you know, house and rooftops you can see over the distance and you can see ones that have uh, sun panel roofs and that kind of stuff. And I don't know, it's not the greatest view because the building that is directly in front of me here, I believe is a packaging building for like, uh, when like there's like a window that can be open at the bottom down here. I've seen it a couple times, like they have like, it's a packaging company for, I think like food, some type of fruit or something of a nature. On Google Maps, it says that this building is like a like a grocery store. It's not. It's a packaging plant. Like this one in the, in the building next to it. It's like some type of a distribution center for locally done packaged meals. And uh, they operate on a weekly basis, Monday through Friday. I don't think they operate on Saturdays. I don't ever see them doing it, but it doesn't mean that they don't. So that's that. So that's what the building is in front of me. It could use some new roofing, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it. Life is life. It's not too terrible. Things are progressing. I'm doing fine. I'm putting in my work time at the schools. Um, Got to actually do some planning tonight to make sure I get my lessons for tomorrow, where I'm going to be teaching a certain three student, three to four student class of, just three to four students of, um, what is it, it's like do's and don'ts and dids or something of that nature. So I'm gonna have to figure something out for that tonight. And then in the afternoon section of that school, because I only ever have two classes apparently, the afternoon section of that school, I'm gonna be teaching a group of students about holidays, American holidays specifically, so that's just going to be interesting. <laughs> so, whatever. So I've got those two classes, and then I've got pretty much the same class I've had, and that's at one school, and I've got another school where I've had the, like, the exact same type of class, kind of like for my introduction. It's just like going over the exact same material over and over and over and over again for all the different first grade classes, and that's all I've got next week. I don't even think I've got any classes on Friday. I've only got classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There's like nothing on Friday according to my schedules. So I'll ask around to make sure, but there's nothing there. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, I'm living my life. I'm rather happy. I'm trying to make sure that everything goes according to plan, <laughs> whatever that plan may be. But um, you know, things happen and I'm trying to adjust. So living life is Best one can. But then again, that's really a lot of people, the only thing that people can ask for. 
I'm just glad I'm able to live this life, to be able to be out here. I'm thankful that for the opportunities that I've had from both given to me, both my mother and my father, for the drive that they've given me and the perseverance that they showed in me, you know, because I was, I was a pretty bad screw up at a certain point in my life and I've, I've come back from it. And I'm really happy about that. It's been good since then. And I've just progressed more and more and more and more since then. And, you know, first one in my family to live abroad, first one in my family to have two degrees, first one in my family to be an Eagle Scout. I mean, I've got a lot of good things under my belt. I have a lot to be proud of. And I'm very thankful for my family and my friends for being there for me to help me to achieve those goals and accomplish all that kind of stuff. So I'm doing okay. I'm still worrying about money, but then again, who doesn't? Um, you know, life is life, money is money, and money rules life, unfortunately. So, but yeah, that's my sort of overcast update, as it were. But there's always room for improvement. Things are progressing, and it's a time of year where there's nothing but a bunch of people planting rice. So there's just all these really muddy water patties filled with a bunch of teeny tiny little green stalks everywhere. So. It's that time of the year where it's a good planting time and harvesting time for a couple other fruits and vegetables that are out there. I mean, it's just, it's cool to see all this kind of stuff, to live this, to walk past it, to smell it. Um, you know, it's, it's a learning experience. It's a life experience, and I am thoroughly appreciative of it. I'm thoroughly grateful for it. So, here's to a good year, and hopefully everything will finish off in the next couple of weeks for dental appointments and a couple other stuff that's going on in my life so we will see what happens <laughs> take I gear take take guy gears wow I'm an English teacher <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen it is another vlog with Brandon Hi. it's his birthday Hi. Woo! he's 26 years old we're heading to it's a restaurant correct yeah it's a family restaurant it's a family restaurant and it's called what again baby face planets baby face planets i think it's they're going for like a teletubby kind of thing where you know like the sun has a baby's face on it you know how they had that so they're like hey. is this like a horror themed like family restaurant that we're no, going to i'm actually pretty sure it's like italian themed <laughs> <laughs> all right sure why the hell not let's go to an italian themed restaurant called baby face planets in japan in japan no less. Yeesh. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've made a mistake. In Japan, there is large size food. This is considered a small. It's about the size of my hand. It's an omelet filled with crab and like meat sauce. Oh. 